Alright, what to say about this matchup? I have no idea. Also not watching right now. Uh, I don't know. What is it? Pikachu, he like, goes in. You see that Tower Shields is kind of just, like, waiting for some sort of opening, and he's just... I like the fact that he's not committing to moves immediately, just, like, doing those hops, just, like, waiting to see what Pikachu will do, which is really good. The last thing you want to do is, like, overcommit. And you know what? Like, doing stuff like that is actually really great, because... He's doing it far enough, and the fact that Mouse fell into it was just like more an error on his way. And so Sour's just like, run into this, please. So he's doing it. So that's pretty sick. Yeah, so right now, Sour Skitter's trying to, starting to pull away with a small lead. Okay. But I think Mouse Rat's beginning to realize that like he has to work on his spacing and is beginning to like close up, slow it down a little bit, evening up those percents. Ooh. All right. So Sour's going to take that first stock there. This is going to be uh, a little bit more difficult because, like, obviously there's, like, the standard, like, oh, they have a stock lead and all that. But, you know, you have that Bowser Jr. is, like, kind of a heavy character, and it can be kind of obnoxious to hit and to catch because he actually has some pretty... Uh, interesting buttons where he like can make a wall and stuff and like when he goes into like the cart he can like really cover a lot of the ground to get away if he needs to but if you're gonna do dash attack on someone's shield like that I mean eat that back air 130 150 damage you can see he's not going like super far but he is avoiding oh not getting hit by like the super strong hits by mouse rat so he's just gonna be hanging in there and like this is all you know Herp derp extra credit. Okay. Does he have a... No? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Hey, Poipus, what's up? Oh, he dies. All right. 70 damage is not too bad. You get to still, like, hang on to your lead. Oh, my God. And he might be dead. Nope. All right. Not enough. No rage. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I don't know. He was getting a little bit overzealous in trying to land that kill. Doing that up smash there was not advisable. Granted, he's still at low percent, so he can, I guess, make those risks. But you don't want to, like, get into that mindset where you get a little bit frustrated. Yes, Poipus, what's up? And, yeah, uh, Mouse Rat losing the second stock. 40 damage with a stock lead. It's pretty good. Oh. Ooh, Mouse Rat's doing a really good job of just, like, weaving around. And he's just, like, has a really high damage ratio right now, not taking any in return. Already getting Sour... Oh, he's gone! And he's brought it back just like that. Okay. All right. But so far, like, the momentum, the progression of the match has been in Sour Skittle's favor. So, like, he'll, it's a lot more noticeable when you lose something like that. So they can, like, switch up their gameplay. Uh, and just be like, all right, I got, I got to take it slow, or I got to speed up, or like whatever I wasn't doing. And you see that he is taking a little bit more of an offensive, but it's like a passive offense. Ooh, wow, that armored it. Interesting. Okay, now Master Rat's back is a little bit against the wall here. Pikachu not the heaviest, with Bowser Jr. being pretty, uh, pretty weighty. Ooh, and Master Rat takes it. Really good stuff by him. That's Lemmy, right? Nope. That's Larry. Nope. Yes, it is. All right, cool. I forgot to tweet out the match. So let me do that. This is what happens when I solo cast. I'll forget to do one thing because it's like not my usual flow. But, you know, I'll try. There we go. 
All right, so Mouserac got rid of FD and Lilat, and uh, Sour Skittles opting to go to town and city. I feel that. Uh, Sun Fist, my, oh my. Uh, I can't really make what happens what's scheduled on stream. So if anything, just like at house or at helper or something on Twitter, that can help. Anyway, game two. Um, hmm. I really want to say that Cyrus Skittles was actually doing a really good job, and like it wasn't until that very last kill uh, that like you know Malfrat went from zero to one hundred, putting on that clutch factor. So you know, it, I think if he's able to stick to his game and uh, you know just kind of realize what opening he gave that led into that such a situation, he should be able to keep control. Uh, but you know, even even actually before that, just the fact that Mouserat was able to even up the stock, Mouserat definitely did some good mid-game adaptations. Okay. And yeah, right now they're just kind of going blow for blow. Although you definitely can see that Tower Skittles is hitting a bit harder on those blows. So, ooh, yeah, two to one ratio right now of damage. And when you're the heavier character, that means a lot. That's great. That's right. Uh, struggling to try and find an in. See those those quick attacks in are looking a little bit desperate, but he's still doing a fine job. You can see that he's beginning to pull back a little bit, realizing that like he was kind of losing some trades. So if anything, he wants to like bait out a little bit better. That great awareness of that uh, the Koop Mecha Koopa, yeah. Ooh, that was really risky because when he did the F smash, he had high damage. I don't think the F smash will hit the ledge though. But it's just the fact that he had high damage, so he's losing his invincibility really quickly. All right, and yeah, just like that, you can see the mouse rats completely evened it up. And Pikachu hits definitely hard. So even though that he's lighter, oh, all right, yeah, not not the greatest quick attack there. Running off again, hit by the the cart. Ooh. Seeing a little bit of a semi repeat of the stock, first stock in game one, and he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. You hit him like that after he does up B, he doesn't like get it back immediately or at all. I actually don't know what all the rules are. It depends on how hard you hit him and stuff like that. So the Thunder Joel is definitely in that realm where it might not have given it back. Oh my god! How many jumps does Mouse Rat have? That definitely looked like more than two. But yeah. Mouserat is not taking this on his back. He is like, yo, man. He's like, you took that first stock? That's all fine. I'm about to schmix you. I really like the way that... I don't know if it's... No. He, it's definitely intentional. I really like the way that he's, like, uh, maneuvering around the Mecha Koopa when he's, like, trying to go in for hits. So he's just, like, basically forcing them to block and mitigating the complete hazard of the Mecha Koopa. So it's just like the Mecha Koopa gets out of the way, and even if he hits his block, okay, fine. Uh, at least he's no longer in a 2v1 situation. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, when you just walk up. It's actually really funny. Mouse Rat walked up, but I think he didn't believe that that was going to work, because then they both stood there. And he definitely was, like, in the driver's seat for that situation. Uh, you gotta have faith in your hits, man. Uh, you know... Don't second guess your ideas like that. Okay, I like that. He realized that he couldn't make it far, fast, far enough to get the uh, the jab lock and just went in for the dash attack, but he did mistime it. Ooh. He was like, I see your F smash, Sour Skittles. Well, how about my F smash? Although Sour Skittles was getting a little bit desperate trying to land that there, but ooh. Okay, so this is one thing that you gotta be mindful of. When someone comes back, Give them their space. Like, don't make them feel comfortable, but like, don't feel like you need to rush that extra credit because they need to come to you. So like, he almost died from that uh, interaction and that wasn't looking good, but Mouse Rat gonna be sealing out the set. Really nice read on that high recovery. Uh, and able to just seal it out. So good stuff to Mouse Rat.